Hi, this is Stephanie from AlbumCoverTemplates.com. I'm going to show you how I designed a cover uh, using my template ACT Vine Ribbon Blur Blue Number 2. So you um, open up the template that you got from me, and the other thing you have open would be your 10x10 10 10, um, album cover template from your album company. Sorry, I had the wrong one open. I had the uh, page. This is for the cover, which is what I'm designing. So this I got from whitehousecustomcolor.com. Uh, when you open an account, they give you the templates that are just blank, and it has a guideline, the safety lines that you're not supposed to go past. So um, open my design. Use the select tool. Click and drag it onto the White House Custom Color template. Place it where you want it. Go back on the template you bought from me and close out of it because you don't want to lose your original file. That was something else. Okay. I'm going to make this a little bigger so I can see. And you can do view, show grid, and this will help you um, help you place your items evenly. I'm going to change my grid to white. Photoshop preferences, grids, and I'm just going to change this to a more neutral color. That's better. Okay. And then I have a picture I'm going to put under the cover. So again, I just click and drag this onto my cover. And I need it smaller, so edit, free transform, hold down the shift key, left click and drag it in till it's the size that I want. And I'm going to make it right to uh, the grid lines, make it easy on myself for creating a frame later. Okay, and then I hit return to get rid of my transformation lines. Now, so far for layers, what you have is uh, your picture layer, the, back, the background layer, and then this is just the blank white White House custom color. I can get rid of that. Do I want to delete it? Yes. Okay, so now I go to my picture layer. And I want to put a stroke around the image. So I go edit stroke. And the color I want, I will choose a color from the book. I'm going to use this dark blue. And I'm going to do a 22 inch 100% opacity, 100 opacity inside. And that puts a blue border. Now I'm going to zoom in a little so you can see what I'm going to do next. Um, I still have two separate layers, the picture with the stroke and my background layer. Choose the background layer, uh, choose this rectangular marquee tool, and see how I have my guides. I'm going to go one box in each direction. Okay? Then I hit Edit, Cut. And when I cut that out, I have, um, I'm showing the, the background, which is nothing. So, I'm going to do edit, new layer, and then on layer 3, the new layer I just made, I'm going to take my paint bucket, choose a black color, and pour it in the black. And you just have to move this so it, so the, uh, the black is on the bottom layer. If you were to pot, stack them up, you'd have the black layer, then the next one up is this, and then the picture is on top. So now we can merge all our layers. Layer, flatten image. I'm going to get rid of the grid so you can see. And then I'm going to type some names down here. Okay, and I can show my grid again if I want to center them and make sure they're perfect. And then over here, I'm going to put my um, company. I'm going to make that very small. I don't need it that huge. I just want people to know who made the album. And then I can turn the opacity down for that those words so they're even uh, more discreet. And that's it. And then I just layer, flatten image, and I can save my new cover.